Welcome to King of the Palace. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with this week's bowlers. To my right, last week defeating the reigning king. So at the end of the, everything, we're going to have a new King of the Palace champion. Uh, Richie Marek, welcome back. Uh, thanks for having me. Glad to be back. Great, uh, great finish last week. You started off a little slow, came back strong. Hope to carry that into this week. Yep, found the rhythm, as I mentioned last week, and uh, it's not going to get any easier going against this young gun, Aaron Fontaine, here. So I know I have my hands full, and I'm prepared for it. I'm looking forward to a great match. Good luck to you. Thank you. And to my left, number 3C with a roll-off score of 647. He's been here before, Aaron Fontaine. Welcome back. Thanks, bud. It's good to see you again. You too. I uh, saw you in the qualifiers. You were bowling well. What are your thoughts about bowling against Richie? Well, back in January, he gave me a run for my money, so hopefully the outcome is different than the last time. But whatever happens, happens. I got no bad blood. I got all but the respect in the world for Richie, and I couldn't be happy to be bowling with him. He's a great bowler and a great friend, too. Couldn't say it better myself. So good luck to you. Good luck to you. I'll see one person in the 11th box. This is round number two, where the number three. three seed, Mr. Aaron Fontaine, is bowling against the number four seed, Mr. Richie Myrick. Mr. Richie Myrick last week defeated the reigning ship in Steve Spingola and is on his way running the ladder. Up first on alley three, Mr. Aaron Fontaine, nickname Suggs. Swag, Swass. Suggs. Can you read? Swass. Suggs. Uh, uh, <laughs> swag. Looks like swag. Nice first ball, but leaves a mess. Yeah, you don't want to. Be, you don't want to be called Swass. <laughs> I don't even think that's a word. It all, is. All I have to do is sweep it, uh, sweep it over from the right side to the left. You got to play the word. second yeah. word or first word. Oh, oh. He, oh. Mr. The right Aaron idea, Fontaine Dennis. is the grandson of Mr. the great. Tom Olsta. Yes, he is. He has a great respect for the game. Uh, as you can see during the interview, he's very well, you know, carries himself well. And, he, and Mr. Olsta likes the king of the palace. He does. He told, uh, Aaron told us today that he thinks we're doing a good job. We thank you very much. Aaron comes out of North Brookfield. His qualifying score was a 647. His average is a 119. He's been bowling for 19 years. His high single is a 178. His high trip is a 450. Opens up with a 10 box, found the head pin, didn't get too much luck on it. And here he goes on to lane number four, box number two, string number one. Finds the head pin and leaves. Wow. Look at this leaves again. The three, six, seven, That's ten. actually set up pretty well. It's got With a nice piece, piece of wood. wood up against the three and the six. Didn't he Play leave the this three in the, the first, six and you the should be able box? to shoot it over. Hmm? Didn't he leave this in the first box? No. No? Oh, okay. But he had... He had the, yeah, the uh, like eagle with the wood. Just like oh, that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Nice spear. Richie's going to have some competition. Absolutely. Mr. But Richie Myrick. Today his name is Uncle Cito. Comes out of East Hampton, Mass. He's been bowling for 31 years. His high single is a 199. His side trip is a 469. Who's Uncle Cito? That's what, how he goes by. Oh. Uncle Cito. Okay, here he goes. And oh. Off That's to right. the right. The MK. The MK right. First time seeing it this season. The four, the four nine ten taken up. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lunenburg Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau as an excellent sales staff on a new or re oh. Mazda or Subaru. Um, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see an our good friend Georgian sponsor. Do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, phony baloney, ten pin bowling, videos <laughs> on Minecraft, abandoned world, live streams on twitch.tv slash George F551, and arcade one up, let's play games. Hey, you can't say phony baloney, ten pin with the Saint of Summer edition. Oh, oops. You can't say phony baloney anymore. Yeah. I can. Remember that. I can. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Pretty when it goes. I don't, I don't think Steve caught what I was doing then. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Richie, you gotta throw the strike ball here to make. I this have spin. love for all types of bowling, so. Yeah. Want to thank everybody on YouTube, local access, and Facebook for tuning into the King of the Palace for the seven seasons. Now you're on season eight. Yep. Dennis, what are we at for a count? Uh, 1130 something subscribers. Let's say 1500. Throw that out there. 1500 by season end. How about that? There you go. Tell us where you're watching it, who you're watching it with, share it. That's the only way we grow. Hit subscribe, hit the ring button, it'll tell you when new episodes air. Watch them, leave comments, 
good, bad, or indifferent, Dennis will answer them all. Then Dennis will say, hey, Dave, guess what? So I welcome all comments. Doesn't Absolutely. matter if they're good and or Dennis bad. Dennis will answer them. And I answer them all, good or bad. And Facebook, you can message me, leave a message on King of the Palace or Palace Lanes or my personal. It's all good. Leaves the check mark. Steve, last week was carrier pigeon. This week is uh, paper airplanes. Paper <laughs> airplanes. I love it. Or a glider. Remember gliders, David? They still make them. Oh, they do. Oh, yep. I'll have to go check it out. Okay, here we shoot a tough spear, people. Oh, oh he nice. made it. Wow. Boy, he is on. What a great candle from Bola. Opening it up a little bit on Richie already. This has the makings to be a great match right here. Yep. Richie can't let too far go. Yeah, he's got to keep pace with the marks. Last week, last week he threw a 97 first game and closed it out with a 164. 64, yeah. yeah. So he's going to need to do the 164 first. Shout out to Casey McCool, professional scorekeeper for us. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't go professional. Nah. No? I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to make him feel good. He's helping us out. You know. Got to always have two scorers, people. You never know when something may be missed. Stars and strikes should have three. Yeah. They did? Yeah. Well. Front board, Dennis, red line? Uh, yeah. yeah. Go to ride. And oh. oh. Right there with it. Shooting the seventh pin, better known as the corner of the building shot, for 10 bucks. Not as easy as it looks. And all oh, over it. Made it. Used all of that pin. OK, what do we got, Dennis? Uh, waiting for Richie to pull his fourth. Yeah. Thank you to Asan oh. Seal. Where else but up in bowling? I love it, guys. Keep up the great filming and narrating. Well, thank you for commenting. Thank you to Soling Well Dog Dude. And Daryl Hunt. Oh, oh Richie's going to wreck around. Come on, come oh, on. Look at that. Wrong way. Well, he's left the nine pin for a spare. Make sure that wood just stays away. Yeah, I got to stop wood. Stop, stop. Yep. Got a clear stop. shot at it. Yep. Even if you're off, what that, you that would may slide right through it. What do you think, Dennis? Nine, seven out of ten? Oh, I, oh. I shouldn't have said that. I apologize. I don't comment on the single pins. Yeah. No. Nope. Very the most frustrating thing the candle pin bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's one of those where you have to set it and forget it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not well, as easy as it looks. Go ahead, Dennis. Watson956 likes my comment about Freshie on one of the past episodes, calling him the black sheep of the dysfunctional family. <laughs> it's all done out of love. Found the head wow. pin. Oh, got a little lucky He's there. He's getting some good action. Leaves the 3-6. Yeah. 3-5. Three, 3-5, three, no, three, 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 five. Five. Three, three, five, yeah. yeah. You going inside or the right of the? I'm a fan of splitting. But yeah. It depends how you're throwing that day. Yeah. Another shot that's not as easy as it looks. All over it. Oh, oh made that pick up. Made that one. You needed that one badly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Didn't want to leave Aaron too far ahead of him. After four. Richie Marek at 41 working on a spare. Aaron Fontaine at 52. Okay. Thank you to Drum Machine and some guy 23475. Sounds like some kind of Chinese food order. <laughs> yeah, can I get some some gum 12345, please? Uh, Sam Sitar, <laughs> Bola 97, and Drum Machine again. Okay, Aaron Fontaine finds the head oh. and bangs it and leaves wow. the six. Oh, what a nice can open ball. Nice delivery. This, this comment's t directed towards you, Steve, and I'll wait to see what Aaron does okay, with this before I read it. Going to go right at it. Looks to me like any part around there it should go. Just, Just right at it. it. Yep. Right at it. Yep. There you go. All over it, like white on rice. If you, can uh, see, if you can see it, play it. Don't worry about the wood. Smashed it right in the face. So, right, come on, come on, come drum machine put a messenger is when the head pin hits the sidewall and rolls across the deck and hits the corner pin. Oh, that would be true. That's no. that's a messenger. That would be true. No, I thought a messenger was any pin that's rolling that knocks down another pin. Does it have to be the head pin? That's what okay, I'm reading uh, right there. Okay, well, then Steve, <laughs> I'll put it in my memory bank. Thank you. I thought a messenger was uh, how Steve gets his mail. You mean yeah. by me? Carrier Persian. Carrier Pigeon. Carrier Pigeon? pigeon? Well, it's fine. Um, messenger stage Pigeon. Yeah, yeah. Stage coach. Stage coach. <laughs> Smoke signals. Hey, yo, uh, hey, yo, the Pony hey, Express. Yeah. Well, my good buddy was Chief Arulu. You remember Chief Arulu from McHale's Navy? Arulu? What? No, I remember don't. Oh, oh Mr. remember McHale's Navy? I remember yeah. McHale's Navy, but I don't remember and that. They were friendly with the Indian tribe, and the tribe's leader was Chief Arulu. Yeah. Nice you know guy. Him? 
No, I've never met him. So how do you different than yours? I saw her on TV. The Mikhail's <laughs> Navy Imagine, TV show. Imaginary friend. I used to love F Troop. Oh, Remember yeah, F Troop? Yeah. Oh, shit. That was a good show. Great show. Uh, All right, Richie needs to drop yep. 8, 9, or 10 on this. That's how to come back because he's no. down 11, yep. box to box. Yep. And he's up against a spare 8 in the next box. I always use, like, Gomer Pyle. Oh, yeah, Gomer's all right. Oh, Ooh, off to the right. The pin. Oh. He's dropping his shoulder a little they bit. didn't want that. Leaves the 1, 2, 4, 7, and the 10 with no wood on the deck. Come Worry on. about the four horsemen. The 10 pin will go. Come on, Richie, make this spare. A little extra time here, people. And Ooh, oh. cherry picked it. Five pins up, Dennis. You hit yeah. one, and you get one. This is where you need to concentrate and get three and three, take yeah. the nine box. Take the yep. nine box. Set it and forget it. He's going to lose a bunch of anyway. Oh, nice oh. 10. Oh. Come on. Nice yes. 10. There okay. you go. That's a nice 10 pin. Because he was up against a spare eight, so he lost eight on that box alone. Yeah. But he's up against an open now, so now he needs to throw a mock and get some back. And also, again, I want to reiterate that we were supposed to do the bonus ball challenge starting this season, but we did not get any postcards from anybody. Yeah. Come on, people. Throw them in. We're literally giving away free money. Four horsemen on the left, the one, two, four, seven, with a piece of wood, two pieces of wood rolling up to the one and the two. Yeah. yeah. Run the ladder. Yeah. If it goes on the outside, that, that wood's going to deflect it. It won't, it won't take the third pin in. He's oh. got it all right. He needed it. He got it. Delivered it. He, he needed the mark. Needed that. Oh, boy. This is getting down there. After six, Richie Myrick at uh, 66 working on a ball. And Aaron Fontaine at 80 pulls. Aaron Bulls uh, on the Wednesday Night League and Thursday Night Mixed League. His favorite shot is the 7-10 split. His least favorite shot is Steve's favorite nightmare, <laughs> the spread eagle. I don't even want to get into it, David. <laughs> it just the worst injustice in sports. Okay, here he goes. And got the head pin in. Look at this mess. Well, no. You can't it's use the back. The backwood's not going to hit the six. No, it's but I think bad. it might actually help deflect the uh, two pin into the six. Yeah, it could be. Well, it's angled. Yep. I think. I, hit it I just know. right. Is he still going to try to split? I, gotta I cut would it. think so, yeah. Yeah, I would definitely yeah. try to split. And he did. Just like that. Oh, Ooh, the wood just, just missed spun it. on him. But to reiterate, um, we're going to try to do it again. See if we can get uh, yep. postcards in by the next King of the Palace tape. And if we don't, then we'll just put the kibosh in. So, again, send your name, address, phone number, and a guess from 1 to 10 where you think the winning bowler will drop in the, uh, after the match is over. And if you match, you win whatever the cash total is at that point. It's going to accumulate every week, and when it hit, gets hit, we'll start over again. And send that to 78 Daniel Street, Fitchburg, Mass., New Palace Lanes. What's it, 01420? Yes, sir. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe I remember that. Well, you're, you're, <laughs> that's your business. Aaron on alley four. Oh, he cranked that up. Head pin. Right down the middle. Oh, and the pin moved. Wow. Did you see that, people? Dennis, did, did it move laterally? Lift the four, seven, and the six with it, some It moved laterally. On the six. Where else, where else Dennis, than candle pin bowling? You saw yeah, it. Yeah. Why did it fall? Down? Why did it move laterally instead of falling down? I was watching a match from Stars and Strikes years ago where someone slid the five pin in between the two and eight. So three pins in a row, almost straight. Wow. Unbelievable. Where else? People I know always say it all the time. Candle pin bowling. I would have went there. That's why yeah. I would have went to the beginning. Oh, he yep. got the wow. Got the pin. Every pin, like David always says, every pin counts. It puts him at an even hundred for eight. Well, Richie Myrick needs at least one mark and a good fill. Richie Myrick bowls on the East Hampton Industrial League, also Canal Exeter Sunday Pro League, and the Friday Charlie, what is it, Jutris? Jutris. Jutris yeah. Memorial League. I got to remember that, man. You figure I would. Grew up with the guy bowling. Come on, oh, come on, Richie. Oh, drop it? Nice nine drop. Okay, he's Leaves left. the four pin with a whole bunch of wood Just in shoot his the way. four pin and drop it down. He needs this. He's down five pins box to box. <laughs> He's up against two open, so. All he's got to do is guide it in. But he already missed a single a couple boxes ago, so you know that's in his head. Now he's got to just smash it and put it back in. He's got it. There yeah, it is. The wood helped up. him, but it doesn't matter. He's got two in a row. Three out of four boxes with Max going into the eighth box. Let's see what happens, people. He wants the eight, nine, or the ten. Now, this is the Richie Myrick I know. Come right at it. Bang. 
I noticed. I wouldn't doubt he throws a hammer right now. I noticed Dennis quickly. He's toweling his ball every first delivery. Oh. Sometimes, oh. That's, sometimes that's a nervous oh. tick to like. Oh, oh, look at this, people. <laughs> to give yourself a couple extra seconds to breathe and just, yeah. you know, close Set your mind up. a little. You know, he's got a shot at three marks in a row, which would one be a seven turkey. With a couple pieces of wood behind the one, on, behind the one, one next to the one, and then one off to the He's going to come full right on that head seven. pin. You going to the what, the head No, pin? straight at it. Because straight if he goes too yeah. light on either side, it's going to redirect yeah. on the seven. Right there. Oh, yeah. beautiful yeah. pick up. Nice. Three in a row. He's got the turkey. He's got four out of five boxes with marks. This is going to be interesting now. He's setting to turn up the juice. Aaron Fontaine has to start marking. After eight, Richie Myrick at 103 working on a spare. Aaron Fontaine at 100. It's not very often where Myrick has to get pins. Right. So. Can't open bowling people. And again, everyone knows I've been a Richie Myrick guy for a long time, and I get the pleasure of bowling the Worlds with him this year on Team uh, New England Flooring. Whoa. Wow. Look at this. Oh. You know, I... He's had this lead three times. It's one of those things where I, where I can say about Richie is that, you know, they do their show out in Millis, um, and he's a strong supporter of the game. Yes. You yeah. know, um, and I'll promote his show any day of the week because uh, he's a good guy. They, they do great work up there. Absolutely. Um, oh, he just nicked it. Not hot oh. enough. One of the... One of the things is I really want to try to, I wanted to try to get up there and do that show, right, to try out for it this time around. But unfortunately. It just got canceled. My hand, I just couldn't do it. Well, they just, um, Jeremy Seaholm just posted it today that they had to postpone it due to our con conflict with a big party coming in. So. Um, what do you mean? What does that mean? The original taping date was supposed to be whatever the date was, I can't remember. But they have a big party that just rented out the whole bowling alley that day. Okay. So they're going to uh, postpone it. He's going to try to do it at the end of November. Okay, well. It was, originally I mean, the end, it was originally the end of October sometime. Right, but it's not canceled. It's no, just no, it's just moved. Moved, moved yeah. Rescheduled. Rescheduled. Canceled is canceled. Well, canceled Wait. for this month. This coming month. What, for qualifying or the finals? Finals? Uh, everything, I believe. I believe they're postponing everything. All the qualifying and everything? I don't know. I'll have to I look. think the I qualifying was all done, wasn't it? No, they just, it was just starting it. So maybe they're going to do the qualifiers and just hold the taping. I don't know. I, I only saw it briefly earlier. Ooh. Ooh. But uh, go to uh, New England Candle Pins and check that out and see what uh, see what the situation is with that. But I'm a strong supporter of this show. But nonetheless, show. I'm still a supporter of it. Yep. I wish him nothing but the best. So am I. I've been on it twice. <laughs> <laughs> now, how'd you finish? Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, first time was, I was beaten by this gentleman again a bowl right now, Richie Myrick, by uh, like a handful of pins, like a half a dozen or so. Yeah, I've been beat by Richie Myrick more times than I can count. Yeah. And uh, second time I was beat by Rick Kamrowski. Oh, he's there got it. He go. got, the he's got four in a row, people. He's got, he's got the ego. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. in now. First, last week, second string. He went from a 97 to second string. Finished with a 164. Had five marks in a row. He's just going to bury Aaron which is, right now. Which is a badge. And he's going after a badge this time. Oh, look at this mess. Which means Aaron's going to have to work twice as hard uh, starting with game number two. I'd go right at the eight pin. Well, yep. if he gets it, he's got five marks in a row, which it, would be. Even if he doesn't get the ten, you go for the nine fill yep. on the strike. Shooting for a badge. Very, very difficult. Oh, the other way. Very difficult. I think it just yeah. got out of, away yeah. from him. Still an eight, eight fill is not bad at all. Nope. Got a chance 139 here. 139 right now. For 140 game. one. Boy, oh boy. Last week finished with a 164. First out today, a 141. Great bowling by Mr. Richie Myrick. Boy, oh boy. After one, Richie Myrick at 141. Aaron Fontaine at 118. He started off kind of slow, but then turned on the juice. You never know, people. 27. 23 pin, oh, 27 with the handicap coming into the next ring. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors while we're taking a break. Watch We Suck at Bowling. Go to YouTube, type in Watch We Suck and see our good friend George. Do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, and 10 pin bowling. Also, Minecraft Abandoned World. Live streams on twitch.tv slash George F551. Also, Arcade One Up Games. Let's play. And his last name is not Do Parodies. As some people did think. Also, want to give a shout out to North End Mazda Subaru. 
Visit them online. Our good friend Marty Babino up there selling the monsters and Subarus and our good friend George. Totally, George. totally lost my train of thought. Huh? That's not hard for you to do. Richie Myrick on alley three, firing it up. The one, three, six, better known as the Queen's Leave. Not bad, did David Dennis for run it right off, down. Off shot, first ball. Want to give a shout out to our sponsor, North End Monster Subaru in Lindbergh, Mass. Go to. Wow. I'm like this. Like, <laughs> what uh, is going on with you? I have no idea. Our good buddy, Marty Babino. Did you take your meds? <laughs> I did not. Um, How was your game, by the way? Sore. Oh. Tired. Yeah. Go to North End Mazda Subaru.com or see them in person and we'll see Marty Babino's excellent sales staff on a new or pre owned Mazda or Subaru. Right up there on wow. Route 13, Chase Road okay, in Lunaburg. Like total, like mind, like mind blank. Oh, it, wow. ha it happens, David. It happens. It's usually, it happens the first taping of the season. Oh, oh. look at that! Take I know, advantage of that. But the first week was like, boom, right off the bat, and then all there of a sudden, it happens. people are like messing around and lose your train of thought and what you're thinking. What you're I want to give a special shout out to somebody, to Amber, on the birth of her son Hunter. Oh, yes, yeah. congratulations, Amber, Amber. On, on Hunter. He's yeah. a little cutie. I got to see him in person, hold him. He um. Did he cry? He, no, he did not. He was actually sleeping. Oh, oh are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The ball went. The ball hit the dead wood. Went up. Wow. Took out the eight and wrapped around right around. around. I tell you, she does have beautiful kids. Her other daughter, her daughter Hayden, beautiful little girl. Okay, shooting the seven for ten. Went right by it. Hmm? She's talented like that. <laughs> I don't I even want to go there with the talent part. I don't know. I have beautiful kids, too, which I don't understand because then I'm on an ugly bastard. But, you know. <laughs> Man, I got hey, four, so. so. Something was in the jeans, I guess. want to thank everybody out on YouTube, Local Access, and on Facebook for watching Season 8 of The King of the Palace. You guys have made season Seasons 1 through 7 spectacular, and we're doing the same thing for Season 8. Absolutely. Absolutely a delight. Absolutely a delight, David. Thank you. Thank you for putting it together, and only you can do it, along with, obviously, the OEPD. There's only one, Travis Flock, he's the best, and puts it all together. And welcoming you aboard what? Season three, Dennis? I started season two. Two. Been fun, Halfway buddy. through. Been fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's Doing been the, the original cast. I'm trying to think. What Every once do? in a while we have, you know, when somebody can't make it, we have a film. But yeah, it's been yeah. the original what cast. The, that, David, did we have an 11 box our first year? No. no. It didn't start to Dennis came on, right? Correct. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember. Yeah, but in the first in the first ones, it, it was always myself and you standing in front of the camera. No, oh, yeah. And then and then the OEPD said, oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's the master. How are you doing commentary when you're over there? Yeah. <laughs> But someone actually suggested doing live commentary, and I think it worked out well. Yeah, uh, I, I enjoy it. Aaron Fontana on Alley 4. And oh, he's got the head pin again. Oh, there it is. A bomb. Oh, my goodness, people. One, three, parking, and obliterated That's all the That's wrecking a rack. That's what I call it. That play is Richie. Yep, yep. Richie's favorite shot, the four horsemen, either left or right. His least favorite shot is a two pinner. And when he's not bowling, he loves to gamble and play cards. Off to the right, but he gets a favorable break. Leaves the one nine. He's got to come a little flush on that head yep. pin. Yeah, Push it straight you get back. That, well, you get that piece of wood back there yeah. too. That might yeah. be a you got to go straight, straight into it. Yeah, you got to be a little full. He's got to throw the ball 60. Feet. Little full, a lot of sap. Which the alley length is? Oh, oh just missed it by a hair. Yeah. Just kissed missed. one, and kissed the other. What's your thought, Dennis, quickly? If they if they went, went to 45 feet instead of 60, the scores will go up? No. Not necessarily. No. 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 See, I have to be on oh, the theory no. I think it would Steve, be. Steve, no. You know, my research, you know, how I'm always thinking, concentrating, and focusing on came up from bowling. It's called senility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at oh, this. Oh, the ball hits at it, people. It's legal. It's legal. Oh, it just orbited around it. Oh, I like that word. Instead of spinning. Oh, yeah. Good, good word. Very good, Dennis. You thinking about these words when you're delivering the mail up there and so on? I think about it a lot. Yeah. I deliver in Salem, actually. Oh, Salem. Oh, I take it back. I'm sorry. The Witch City. The but, Witches. Uh, and I want to thank the Fairlanes in Moncton for hosting uh, Worlds this year coming in November. Can't wait to get there. 
Should be a great time. Yes, always is, especially with the team I'm on. It's a great team. Everyone from Florin, Dave Hodge is the uh, captain. Great bunch of guys. Wayne Springfield, uh, Richie Myrick right here, who you'll see in a couple of weeks. Steve Reno Jr. Just a, all the guys are. Oh, tremendous. everyone, everyone's going up, huh? Yeah. How many bowlers? On my team, there's eight. And how many teams? Twenty-four. Oh. Wow. Boy, that's a lot. 12 yes. American, 12 Canadian, right? They try to do 12 and 12, but I think it's like 14 and 10 right now. Does it really matter? Well, they want to try to get it even, so, I, you know, it, you have an even shot. Oh, what, a, what, what, a, what, a, what did he just make? The 3 7 10? Yes. Yeah. Um, they want to try to make it even. That way it's on a level playing field. That way the Canadians and the U.S. have an equal chance of winning everything. Well, what is the Equal playing field got to do with That's ball. what they want to do. They want to make oh, it mount, mount. same amount. I suppose they got the Because if the there's series. 14 American and 10 Canadian, obviously there's more chance of American winning it. Oh, okay, okay. I understand what you're saying. Aaron Fontaine on alley three. Up Working on, on the strike. strike. Boy, he wants his the favorite shot is a 7 10 split. His least favorite shot is Steve's greatest nightmare, oh. the spread eagle. Come on, come on, come on. There oh, oh, wanted wow. the double and he left the solid. When he five is minutes. not bowling, he's a finish worker at Vibrams. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dennis, I thought he almost gave so a here's big a, wiggle. Here's the case, people, with the, the strike, right? Directly in the middle of the rolling deadwood hit the pin. I thought it would have went. Not enough. Just not enough. Obviously, the further up and down you go in the, the deadwood, you want to go all over it. it. All over it. Two in a row. When he's not bowling, he loves traveling. Also hanging out with his friends and his girlfriend. Okay, he's going to go for three marks in a row, which would be a triple. Little extra time here. Box to box, Aaron is down 15, minus whatever he throws on the spear. Oh, look at this! Boy, he wants to bury this one, and he does. Right in the middle of the plate. Left the nine. Excuse me. Left Leaves the a seven, seven pin. pin. Corner of the building. Seven pin shot. sitting all by itself out there. Yeah, not as easy as it looks. And a piece of wood rolling up. Six now pins. it's in his way. And oh oh it's going to, wait a minute, it's oh. going to sit right there. Richie made this similar shot earlier, but on the 10 pin. What are you going to do here, Dennis? You're you going to try to hit the cap. Yeah. Try to slap push and back. It. Yeah. Possibly better known as an impossible shot. Not really. It's, it's hard because it's going <laughs> to bounce off the sidewall normally. So you're going to try to smash this it like right on the corner. This of is it. the case where the wood kills you. Yeah. 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 The rule block. The robot, or as David calls it, I Jersey Barry. Uh, Jer Jersey Barry. Why do they call Barry's jerseys? Where they made all there? I, I have no idea. That. Research. There Again. you go, Steve. Yep. Research. I'll research it up. Probably you made New Jersey. After four, Richie Mark at 41, Aaron Fontaine at 57. I wonder if it's spelled J E R C. No, it's I'll a Jersey Barry. Same, same, spelled the same way. Okay, I'll check it out. I don't you think know? It, I don't think it's for New Jersey. I think it's just the person who started making them was that last, could be last the founder. Yep, yep, could be. It was matter of fact. Um, I don't know if you know this or not, but Richie's lem lemonade stand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Went corporate. Nice. Oh. He's starting to pop them up all over uh, Massachusetts. Oh. And Coming to a neighborhood near you. Is he still charging more more for pink lemonade than lemon? Uh, yeah. Oh. Absolutely. Oh, I could never understand. Yep. I could never understand. Yeah. Richie's selling pink lemonade and Oreos. If he plays right at the five pin, like the yeah. wood isn't even there, he's gonna make the ten pin. He's gonna make it. Right there. Oh, yeah, beautiful nice pick shot. up. Nice pick up. Needed it. Oh, this is getting interesting. This well, is getting interesting. Aaron's got a lot of work to catch up well, to him, yeah, right? Yeah, he's down seven, seven matches. Pins. Yeah, it's matches. Yeah. He has impossible. the matches spare. Yeah. But if Richie keeps marking, he'll make it impossible, which he can do very easily. <laughs> we know that firsthand. Oh. oh! Look at this. Leaves man. the high-low jack with the nine in the back. Well, one seven that? nine ten. I like that. You're the high low jack with a nine right. in the back. No, nope. gotta hit the head pin. See what happens. I'd try to slice a, it off the wall. Uh, and a joker on the deck. I go right side of the head pin. I would yeah. too. Just right like there. that. Boom! Oh, oh, Chuck the one seven lock nine ten. The shot of Beautiful the night, people. Beautiful pick up from Mr. Richie oh, Myrick. Look at that goodness. replay. My goodness. Richie Myrick just pulled in Antonio Brown and dove into the crowd. Talk about candle pin bowling, Dennis. That was a beautiful shot right there, kid. You can make nice a job. shot like that, and it just lifts your confidence. Okay. 
Martin here, or Colin Kane's going to go after this now. He's getting behind, needs a mark. Oh, oh. right down the middle of the plate, and Look. he leaves the I have no two, way. four, six, seven, nine, and ten. How can he take out the one? With three, a piece five, of wood the resting one, up against the, the one, four. three, five, eight, and he had the head pin down. It's a tough shot. Yeah, but how did this happen? How did that happen? Oh, that oh, 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 wait a minute. It. And he almost made it. Get some speed. Not enough. Too many wood. Yeah. If those first two pieces weren't there, that would have gone. gone. Yeah. People, he, he threw the ball in the one three park and he, and he left them. I, I don't know. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Box to box, Aaron is down 13 and he's up against a spear. He's got to at least mark it. Mark to match it. Don't forget, people, the uh, channels on both sides of the alleys. Five and a half inches wide, four and a half inches deep. The, the gutters, well, not channels. I, I call them channels. Okay, and he... Oh, right down the middle of the plate again. Leaves the small high-low jack. Yeah. The three, eight, and ten. Small high-low jack, yeah. There it is. I don't have no idea. Then I go straight. Uh, well, if you go some straight. deadwood back there, so I might hinder it. Aaron wants to give a shout-out to his grandfather, Mr. Tommy Olsta. Yes, that Tommy Olsta. That Tommy Olsta, people. That's that guy. Great. Guy. You know that guy? Oh, oh what a bid. What a dead um, killed it. He's also a 2015 I, ICBA champ and a six time state champ. Shooting the eight pin for a nine, uh, 10 box. And right on. Okay. After six, Richie Myrick at 67 working on a spear, Aaron Fontaine at 77. So Richie's up 13 pins right now, plus whatever he drops on this. First ball. Overall match is really. Okay. Taking his time, people. No time limit in Candlepin. Oh, it's important. Yep. Turn to the match right now. Right down the middle of the yeah, plate. We've seen, this, this, we've seen this a lot. Tonight. Leaves a two, four, seven, eight. Very difficult shot. Probably made three out of ten times. Tough shot. Yep. So that puts him up 19 pins over Aaron right now. Very difficult. Ooh. The four pinner wins again. Cherry picked the four. Now this you want to concentrate and make the two yep. of them. Every pin counts, man. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, oh, nice oh, oh you nice take out. the ten of them. Nice shot. Side board action. Nice, nice shot. Well, he leaves the door open for uh, Aaron on that box. Richie's gonna throw a mock right here. Foundation box. Right, Steve? Yep, it's the ninth box is the foundation That's box. That's the eighth, no, this is the eighth box. Oh, the ninth is the foundation. Why they call it that, probably. Four horsemen left, the one, two, four, and seven, no wood on the deck. Our next King of the Palace will be October 26th, and that will be the 80% handicap tag team titles. Reigning champs, Dean Sullivan and Nick Leach, Reigning defending champs, they will be here. Doesn't matter. Man and woman, two guys, guy and a girl, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anybody can do candle pin bone, then us, David. Yep. This one you come in with your own partner. Yep, yep. grab a partner and uh, throw your best. So and they're both three strings each, correct? Um, yes, that is um, the rules apply as you and your partner have to bowl as one. Aaron Fontaine on alley three. Needs the big ball. He needs a couple marks. Yeah. Oh. oh, maybe. Oh, no. Leaves the nine this. pin with it. Wow. Oh, my goodness. What tough, are you going to do? Tough leave. What are you going to do? Try to flatten it out a little bit. Tip with that front wood. Try Just to spin it in. Just uh, give him the tip. Just the tip. Yeah. That's all we can do. Let's watch people. And yep. Oh. You have to go to the tip and try to spin it in. Spin it in. Once again, David, the dead wood was what? A jersey barrier. Pick this up for a 10 box. He does. Dennis, quickly. You think wood helps the bowler more? Or I think sometimes it can be unpredictable. It can be both. It can be both. Yeah. But what, is, what do you think the percentages of it helping the ball? I no way in telling, right? I don't I do agree. percentages. I know, I know. I love them. Okay. Let's 
see what happens. Right down the middle of the plate. Oh, look a little full this. on that, but he took a bunch with him. Leaves a 6-7. Oh. There is the ball in the pocket, people. Leaves it's the, the object. Six, seven, yeah. no wood, wood on the deck. We have three pieces of wood in the gutter. The first wood does not count because it is 80% in the gutter. He's going to have to try to shoot this clean. Yeah. Pretty when it goes. A little slice and dice going on, man. Very, very difficult. I made this at Central, I think, a couple months ago. Nope. Lost the pin. Minus one. Ball went into the channel, came out, ricocheted, took down the 10. The yeah. seven rather than the gate stiff on the pin. Richie, Richie's got it. Breathe the sigh of relief. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that would be a nine box, people. So after eight, Richie Mark at 92, Aaron Fontaine at 96. Richie Mark is up 19 pins. For the box to box. Box to box. Richie can put this away pretty quick. Yep. One mark. One mark uh, and I'd a say, decent I'd, fill. I'd say two marks just to put it away because Aaron is very capable of throwing a triple. Yep. It's at 19, right? 19 right yeah. now. And, Bang. and look at the Healy's. An wow. officer. He leaves the fourth 10. 4-10 oh. with a whole bunch of wood on the deck. Oh, I'm this hitting the wood. I don't no, know. I'm about hitting this. the wood. I don't care. Not anymore. You can't. You can have a shot. You, you got to shave it. I'd rather slam the wood. See you, what happens. You probably have to go to the front, front piece on the right hand side. Almost yeah. cap it to try uh, to yeah. push it. In the last box, taking a good look at it. He knows what he needs. Aaron Fontaine had the six seven. This time we got the two. I don't think that backwood's going to cover the four. I think it's too far yeah. back. Yep. Yeah. Well, you never know. Just get a ride. Yeah. Oh, he like did that. make it. Wow. Just Talk like I called it, it, baby. Yep. I, I right hand too. side, cap it. Got some nice bounce on that. Yep. Flatten it out. Oh, my goodness. What can I do? Nice pick up. That's something you feed off of right there and build. Yep. So you, I, got I the, um, you can see the confidence, yeah. David. Dennis, he's there. I he's going to drop at least nine on there his There it ball. is. There Boom. it is. And he did. Oh, oh, drops nine. He did drop nine, Dennis. With a wiggle on a two. I know Myrick. <laughs> it's all academic right now, man. Just drop it right down the middle of the plate. Oh, oh off. Uh, it's all right. It might not have hurt him too bad. No, I think we, we got it wrapped up, I think. Well, I will see. He's at 120 right now. 121. Yep. Aaron Fontaine. At least Great second string by Mr. Richie Myrick. He'll need at least a, a double. 141, 121 for a 262. Aaron needs a 143. And he's at 96. So he needs at least a double. He needs to mark all the way out. Yes. A spare strike, spare, uh, strike spare. Triple. Yeah. It would give him 31, 26. It can so be done. Can be done. Oh, he, he, needs a, he needs a double. Mr. Aaron Fontaine yep. on alley three. Needs to double, people. Very, very difficult. Well, you got to get, get the first one first. Yeah. Right. And, oh, I, oh, man. He's had this leave at least four or five times, people. Yep. Same leave. And want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru. Go to online and visit North End Subaru. Wow. Ma Mazda Subaru .com wow. or visit them in person in Ludwig, Mass. It's only 8 o'clock, man. <laughs> <laughs> visit them in person. Wow, what a nice shot. Shot. And see Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff on a new or pre owned Mazda or Subaru. Go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling, and see our good friend George do uh, parodies on Kellen Pin Bowling, Duck Pin Bowling, and 10 Pin Bowling. Also, videos on Minecraft and Bandon World. Live streams, go to twitch.tv slash George F551. And he also, yeah. also he does a double. videos on arcade one up let's play games. He has to throw a strike now. Yeah. Or it's over. Oh, oh. spinning it. And that's it. Richie Meyer can move on. That was a beautiful wow. ball and leaves the 5 9 10. Oh, wow. my goodness. How, the, how does that happen? A perfect ball. It's a great match by two, two great bowlers. Yes. You needed a strike, and, and you leave this mess. Oh, nothing, he buried no, it in the pocket. Nothing, no. nothing to be ashamed of. All Once played. again, what Dennis, you throw the ball 60 feet, the length of the lane, you hit your object, and you get, pen, and get penalized. That's what it amounts to. Nothing. Keep on throwing. Almost. Nice Next drive. week, Mr. Richie Myrick will be facing the number two seed in Mr. Joey Lister who is no stranger to the King of the Palace, former champ of the King of the Palace. Is that Listerine or? Joey Lister, Beardo. After two, Richie Marrick with a 121 for a two-string total of 262. 
Aaron Fontaine with a 122 for a two string total of 240. Myrick had seven spares and one strike. Aaron had five spares and one strike. I want to thank everybody on Facebook, Local Access TV, and on YouTube for tuning in to season eight of The King of the Palace. For myself, Steve Bronchuk, Amber May, and the OEPD, Travis Fault, and along with Dennis Nuzzo, let's get to the 11th box. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm standing here with this week's winner yet again, Mr. Richie Myrick. Uh, very consistent this time, right? better. 141, 121, 262. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, I feel really good. Um, getting away with a couple of wayward balls, but my second ball and my third ball tend to be pretty, pretty much in there. So uh, looking forward to trying to keep it going this week. It's not getting any easier. You know that how it goes, running the ladder. Uh, two seed, Joey Lista. You know how he bowls in this house. Yeah, the guy throws an awesome ball, and um, I'm going to have to get off to a good start. Uh, hopefully, I've been a, more of a back half bowler these last couple of weeks, so I'm hoping to get off to a decent uh, decent beginning and put the pressure on instead of uh, having to come from behind early. Hey, W is a W, though. I'll take it every which way you can, every which way you can get it. Absolutely. Now, uh, some people were asking on the show, uh, they sent in emails about New England candle pins. Um, the current one, did they push back the taping date, or is it all the roll-offs as well? Uh, all the roll-offs and the taping date are going to be pushed back. We had tentatively scheduled it for uh, October 26th. We're going to push that back. Uh, keep tuned for us uh, as uh, soon as, I believe, November 30th or December 1st is what we're going to be looking at for our next season uh, for New England Candle Pins. And we'll have all the roll-offs and everything scheduled and everything posted on all of our social media, what have you. So anywhere you can find us, you'll find us. Awesome. Well, I look forward to seeing you next week and you as well. See you then.